In this video, I'm going to be walking you through how to set up a Unify network. Hey guys, this is AJ the CEO. This is your first time stopping by the channel. Thanks for stopping by and on this channel we focus on tips, training, strategies, reviews, and bills to help modernize your media ministry. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. Now, fair warning, this is going to be probably one of my most quote unquote technical type of videos. Um, when it comes to media, um, I'm bringing this up because based off of everything that we do, we need internet. And what I like to do is show you how to do some things without um, pretty much do it yourself without having requiring other people to do it for you as well as to show you how to save some money and that's going to be kind of what I'm doing in this video. Um, Unify is a well Ubiquity is a company that makes the Unify series of networking equipment. This allows you to have Wi-Fi um, throughout your building, routers, networks, all this other stuff to get all the things that we're talking about when it comes to live streaming onto the internet as well as being able to offer internet to your congregation, um, the administration, anybody who's actually working at the church on a consistent basis. So what I want to do is walk you through what I actually did at my church and multiple other churches, as well as at my own house, at my mom's house, and other folks uni utilizing Unify's equipment. So this is going to be for those that if you want to expand the capabilities of your um, internet, Wi-Fi at your church, this video is for you. So I'm starting at the very, 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 very beginning. All right. So let's cut over to the computer. All right. So what is Unify? Like I said, Unify is just happens to be a brand that Ubiquity makes. And under Unify, I'm here on their website, ui.com or ubnt.com. And this happened, and I'm under their Unify product. So they cover Wi-Fi in, um, huge coliseums, multiple buildings, they do security cameras. I mean, everything that you know about networking, they cover. They cover enterprise quality, but at consumer prices. So that's why I really like them. Um, but again, just letting you know, there is a learning curve and that's what I wanna walk you through. So if I was to make a diagram here, let's open up, uh, let's open up um, Draw.io. And let's go ahead and um, make a basic network. All right. So what I'm going to do is this is pretty much anybody. So say you have your internet here. And what we want to do is that's outside. We want to bring it in. Usually that's done through some type of modem. Um, so, and that's provided by your ISP here in my area. That's um, Comcast, that's Verizon, things like that. So we have our internet, it comes into our router. And then normally your router, I mean, excuse me, I'm sorry, I spoke too fast. Normally this is your modem, excuse me. Then your modem will connect to a router. And most typical routers have Wi-Fi built into it. So you have, um, you know, so it's built in. So what, when you get it from your provider or whatever, it serves out. Now, the next step most people do, um, a little bit more techie folks, that they don't like the quality of the service that's coming from their router that's provided to them by the ISP, or you can just buy your own. You normally will buy one in the store, like a Netgear or a Linksys or some um, traditional brand that you may see in the store, and it offers that way. So what you have is, um, so when you have your Wi-Fi set up, so let's see, we'll just have a laptop. You'll have a computer here and all this other fun stuff connecting Wi-Fi and then you may have a uh, let's do a TV here a TV especially if you have a smart TV 
Um, that can be connected wirelessly if you have a Roku or something like that. Then you have um, game consoles like a PS4 or something like that is connected. Most of the time, those are connected by Wi-Fi. But if it's close enough to the router, you can connect a wire to it. So that's the basic setup of how your network would go. And this is the same way in a church. Now, unfortunately, um, especially when you don't have um, a tech person there or you don't have uh, the wherewithal to know you can have anything other than that, when a provider comes and installs this in the church, that's exactly how they installed it. Like at my church, they installed this and our Wi-Fi router was in a closet somewhere surrounded by brick and steel and the signal was horrible. You could only get a Wi-Fi signal maybe about within 10 feet of that room, but the our building is massive. Um, and I'll put a map so you can see a Google map of <laughs> the layout of our church and how that worked. So what's the difference with Unify? Um, well, the way they handle it is almost the exact same way, except for they do this. The Wi-Fi is actually, and I shouldn't have done it. The Wi-Fi is removed from the router. The router is only wired. And then now you have access points which you may have seen in hotels or anything like that to where you can place them almost anywhere and then they have a connection a line is connected back to the router from anywhere and ethernet can go up to um, 300 feet I believe before it has to repeat signal um, so you can actually get some pretty far distances with that stuff so now, instead of it having to be, you have to be close to this router to get Wi-Fi, now you can place these access points almost anywhere in your building, upstairs, downstairs, anywhere, as long as the connection goes back to the router. And that's how it works. So, um, and then another thing we can add in, say you have, now this router is very limited on how many connections it has to it. It really only has a connection from your modem coming in from the ISP and maybe two connections out. So what you would do with that is you would add a switch. And what this is, is pretty much instead of these connections going directly here, so you can have a switch that goes from four extra ports up to 48 even even more so what this will allow instead of two connections here this can have like 24 or 48 so at my church I installed a 24 so now we'll have connection here this connection now goes here and then just like this switch because our campus is so big we actually can put multiple switches in different locations inside the church so that the wires don't have to run so long. So say we have we have a switch in our media booth so that all the computers that we have upstairs are hardwired to that, but we have access points that are available in our sanctuary so that people can connect over Wi-Fi there in the sanctuary as well. So we would have a connection to the router like this, and then we would have a connection from the switch here. So again, everything could still connect the same way if you wanted to. So say this TV was close enough, we can actually run a wire to that, and it's connected. The computers that are in the in pastor's office or um, any other device I'm trying to think of like our video switcher that needs network connectivity that is in the media booth and that's connected via hardware because there is no option to connect it via Wi-Fi so that's why we have a switch so we can have more jacks to plug in stuff directly but then we can always connect everything Wi-Fi as well and we also have a, um, a printer that is available to be um, connected over our network, but they didn't have that set up. So we were able to put that as well. So it was one of those big copier printers, things like that, 
um, commercial grade printers. So we could connect that as well to back to the switch. So now we've developed an entire network here. And this is an example. And actually, let me do these connections here. All right. So we'll have something like this. And you can expand that more and more because we actually have more than that at our church. But that's just kind of an example that how you can expand that. Now, how do you actually do all of that? The one thing that I like about Unify is that looks complicated. But Unify comes with a, a device called the Cloud Key. So this device is an, is an intelligent computer that talks to all of those devices that we just talked about. It will, you program this and then it will talk to everything. So you only have to set that one thing up. That is your one point that unifies, hence the name, that unifies all that networking stuff so that it can talk to it very easily. So it's really simple for you to do in comparison to having to manually do all those things on each and every single device. That's the reason why I really like Unify. Now, when it comes to the cloud key, you can buy the cloud key that's just like this. They also have a next gen version of that same device. This is the original. And then they have um, Gen 2, which offers some more features. But honestly, I mean, they, they do the same thing. The bigger one actually has a hard drive and it's meant for their security cameras that they do as well. But you could use that. But then they also allow you to actually, they give you the software and you can make a computer um, for yourself without having to buy anything. So they have the software that you could download here and install it on a Windows computer, a Mac computer, uh, um, a Linux computer, an old laptop, because again, it doesn't have to be very powerful. It's just the only thing is that computer has to be on all the time. Now, you could also do install the same thing. You can get one of these little Raspberry Pi computers, these $35 computers, and you can install it on that itself. So they, the cloud key is normally $75, 75 to $100, but you can get this for $35, and as long as you know we're doing a do-it-yourself, you could program this thing yourself. So, like, for example, all right, so like this. This is a Raspberry Pi. This is, um, this is the new version that I have on the screen, but this is the old one, which will work just as well, and it pretty much runs off of a little... SD card that will slide in right there. You have HDMI. Um, it's powered by the same thing that will charge your phone. Has a network, um, network jack, and four USBs. But it's pretty, really straightforward to do. So I'm going to show you how to actually set up the first, the brain of this entire network. And we're going to go through a bunch of videos to show you how to put this all together. So in the next video, what we're going to be doing is setting up the Unify controller in a Linux server and then setting that up and configuring our controller for our prototype church Unify network. So if you like this type of content, guys, I appreciate a like, consider subscribing and hit that bell. That way you get notified when we come out with other videos, especially the follow up videos to this church Unify network setup video. This is AJ and we will see you on the next video later.